Hi everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're gonna be looking at the Market Watch tab and specifically the calendar under that Market Watch tab in the Thinkorswim trading platform. Welcome back to all of our subscribers and if this is your first time here, my name is Kirk with Tactical Options Trading and we make videos just like this on a consistent basis where we talk about the stock market and options trades, all things think or swim. We put live trades here on our YouTube channel. If you haven't already, I hope you'll consider subscribing. And while you're at it, click that bell icon so that you don't miss out on any future content. All right, guys, let's get into it. Let's get started. All right, welcome back everybody. We are inside the Thinkorswim trading platform and we're specifically looking at the Market Watch tab and the calendar tab underneath that Market Watch tab. Now there's a lot of awesome information inside this calendar uh, that we can look at here in the Thinkorswim trading platform. But sometimes, man, you just look at this right now and there's a ton of information, but we need to be able to filter this out because let's be honest, this is like sensory overload. We look at uh, yesterday, let's just look at yesterday. We could see that yesterday we had 236 earnings were reported yesterday. 236 stocks that we probably don't even wa have on our watch list. Maybe a few of them, but uh, a lot of earnings reported yesterday. We had a lot of conference calls yesterday. We had a lot of dividends that were paid yesterday. And you can see out in the future, we have so much information. So I'm gonna show you guys how to filter this out to make it more relevant to what you're actually trading. So the first way we can start filtering out this uh, calendar is right over here on the left-hand side. You can see that right now I have everything checked and I wanted to show you guys that to, see, to show you what is actually available. But as an options trader, uh, we don't need to know all of this information. There's really basically three things that we need to know uh, in the on the calendar and I'm going to show you guys what those are so let's just start out by unchecking all of those and then we're going to click dividend earnings and ETFs uh, dividends so still a lot of information out there guys right I mean we're still showing 236 earnings that were reported yesterday obviously because we haven't filtered out uh, those earnings so let me show you guys how to filter those out by your watch list if you come right up here and click this gear Come down in here to your watch list and I'm going to filter it out by my favorites watch list. And you can see now that everything on the calendar is just basically uh, my watch list, my favorite watch list. So these are stocks that I'm actually uh, interested in mostly. So you can see that as we scroll through these months, right now we're sitting here in November, we can scroll through these months and get an idea what's coming out there on the horizon if we're looking at making a trade in one of these uh, individual stocks. Now, it's good to come in here probably once a week, twice a week, uh, see what's coming up. And especially if you're looking at maybe making a trade on one of these stocks, you can come in here and see what's, uh, what's up on your calendar. I like also uh, having these, uh, these events on my watch list. And you can see here, if I, let me show you my favorites list, you can see that all these here are showing, uh, you know, the, the uh, earnings, we have the conference calls, and so if I'm looking at a certain stock, I can see basically the earnings are coming up. I can come over here to that calendar or I can just actually click on that and it'll tell me what's coming up on AMAT. So dividends, we've got earnings, we've got an earnings conference call, uh, all those things like that. So I like having that on my watch list, but if you just uh, want a broad view of your watch list and what's coming up, come in here to the calendar, click on this calendar and you can see that we have a lot of good information now it's important to realize that when you're clicking on these calendars uh, and you're clicking on these earnings that you want to know if they're reporting earnings before market open or after market open so let's say today we're coming in here to, to today uh, well there's really nothing today just ups is, is uh, paying out a dividend let's come in here to monday so monday we have a few uh, stocks that are coming up and you can see right here, it'll give us an idea of the description of what's going to happen and when those earnings are going to be uh, announced. So uh, we're clicked on the, on the 19th, but this is telling us that earnings are going to be after market on the 20th, after, uh, before market on the 20th on this one, after market on the 20th. So just come in here, guys. Make sure that you understand when earnings are, if it's going to be before market or after market. Uh, we can actually click on the symbols itself and it will let us know if those earnings dates are verified. 
we want to know that they're verified so that we can make if we're making a trade we want to make sure that those earnings if we're making an earnings trade we want to make sure that that uh, th those earnings are verified on that date we can also come in here and create an alert we can create an alert right there to let us know if some you know at the time of the event we can come in here uh, 15 minutes before four hours before so lots of good information that we can do right in here uh, we could also sort this out, uh, you know, by our by our own watch list. We could also come in here and sort this out by public watch list that Thinkorswim has auto populated into this platform. So let's say, for example, we wanted to sort it out by the the biggest change, the biggest gainers. Uh, we can come in here and look at that and see uh, what the biggest gainers were. So, for example, here we are today on November fifteenth. Uh, these all reported earnings yesterday. Maybe that's why they're making the biggest gains today. Who knows? But we could sort that out by whatever uh, watch list that we have, personal or public watch list in the Thinkorswim trading platform. So a lot of good, a lot of good things in here. Um, we could also uh, sort it out basically just by a certain ticker symbol. If you wanted to see everything, just erase it all and it'll all show up. But let's say, for example, we wanted to uh, see if a certain uh, ticker was reporting earnings. So for example, let's look at John Deere. John Deere, sure enough, we got earnings coming up in uh, just a few days. So we can just sort that out just by a ticker symbol only. Now, uh, another nice feature, let me put our, let me put my uh, watch list back in here. Of course, we can look at it by day, we can look at it by week, uh, we can look at it by month. If we wanted to, we could actually uh, make a list of all the earnings that are coming out. So here's our earnings. We got our dividends on here. We have uh, the ETF dividend distribution. All these things are on this this list. Now, you know, the, it's so simple to come in here to this market watch tab and click the calendar and see what's going on. But let's say, for example, you just wanted to have a hard copy. You could come in here and actually print out this list by coming right in here and going print preview. Uh, this will give you an idea what that print out will look like. And you can see that it puts it out here by month. So here's all of November's uh, earnings and, and dividends. We have uh, December, January. You can come in here and just print that out. So a lot of good things right there. Um, Let's see, what else can I show you guys? That's about it, but uh, you know, just filter it out by the left-hand side here. A few takeaways to, to remember here. Just all we really need to do is filter it out by dividends, earnings, and then ETF dividends if you're trading uh, ETFs. So filter that out, then you can filter it out by your watch list, and then you can look at it by day, week, month. Um, make sure that when you're clicking these uh, symbols that it are clicking the date that you're verifying what the actual time is of those earnings. So guys, I hope this has been helpful to you. Uh, I've enjoyed making this video and uh, we appreciate you guys watching our videos. If this has been helpful for you, uh, give it a thumbs up. Hope you'll consider subscribing, share it with somebody if you think this could be beneficial to them. Again, my name is Kirk with Tactical Options Trading and I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.